The art community rolls out the drums to celebrate 30 years of Professor Waleisho Inka getting the Nobel Prize for Literature. There has been exhibitions of some of his personal collections and a performance of one of his plays, which is inspired by a true life story. Plus, Art House Contemporary holds another art auction at the Withbaker Lagos. That and more on this week's edition of the show. A warm welcome. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Some people think the Nobel Prize makes you bulletproof. I never had that illusion. The Nobel laureate penned this play while he was on political exile, and now it has been performed by the National Troupe of Nigeria at the National Theatre Lagos, and Professor Olesho Inka was part of the audience. It is no reason for you leaving your tail today or all day. We know the women will cover you in their back and back, but when the wind blows cold from the high, that is when the power is Inspired by a true story of tradition, Death and the King's Horsemen was written by the Nobel laureate 40 years ago. It's set in the Yoruba Kingdom. Just tell me, Olomuyo, I need you on this journey, and I shall be behind you. You are like a jealous wife. Stay close to me, but only on this side. My fame, my honor, and legacies to the living. Stay behind and let the world sip its honey from your lips. It opens to the demise of the king and the expectation from his horsemen, Eleshin, who is supposed to follow suit to enable the king's spirit move to the afterlife. Else, it will wander on earth and bring harm to the people. Look, if it's not in the time of my forefathers, it shall not be mine. But the cockroach must not be seen without his feathers. No, we did not I won't be much longer without his nest. <laughs> But Elation the Horseman loves life too much and is not anxious about fulfilling this duty. Yes, it is nearly time. The king's dog has been killed. The king's favorite horse is about to follow his master. My brother chiefs know their task and perform it well. Our marriage is not yet wholly fulfilled. When earth and passage wet, the consummation is only complete when there are grains of earth on the islands of passage. Stay by me till then. He remains foot dragging and making some obnoxious demands for a man that has a date with death. Eyes were newly eggs, going in the dark. Skin. Yes, sir. Okay, where, where do you all say I am? That radiance which so suddenly lit up this market at the post I need so well. Has a step already in the hospital? Tell me that. 
The ritual process is disrupted when word gets to the British colonial ruler, Simon Pilkings, who intervenes personally and salvages a situation which appears to him as barbaric. It also interrupts the masquerade party going on at his end of town. Some strange custom they have here, sir. It seems because the king is dead, so important she has to commit suicide. The king? Isn't that the fellow that died nearly a month ago? Oh, yes, sir. Well, how did they bury him then? Oh, they take their time about this thing, sir. The pre burial ceremony lasts only 30 days. It seems tonight is the final night. Yes, yes, yes. But what has that got to do with the market women? Why are they by your feet? We blame that troublesome tax, haven't we? We don't quite know that exactly right answer. sir. Huh? Sergeant Amusa is sometimes prone to exaggeration. Mm. Man sounds desperate enough. Comes out of his brother way to run. Where is the man anyway? I asked my aide to to bring him here. They may be looking in the wrong veranda. I'll pick them myself, sir. No, 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 no. You stay here, bro. Let your wife go and look for me. Do you mind, my dear? Certainly not, Your Excellency. Thank you. You realize how disastrous it would have been if things had erupted while his highness was there. I wasn't aware of the whole business until tonight, sir. Nose to the ground, Bilkin. Nose to the ground. If we let these little things slip past us, where would the empire be, eh? 